All right, good evening. We are literally just a couple of minutes into evening and I know I haven't been posting videos today, um, but uh, we'll continue. Now, you know, um, I, I, I'm trying to make more videos and, and, and whatnot, uh, but uh, anyways, anyways, we'll go on with this. So, wanted to talk about money again without having any idea about what I was gonna talk about, but it kind of makes it a little bit better. A little, it makes my channel more unique. So, if we're talking about money. Oh, I got something. I'm gonna. I, I call it. Well, I just came up with it. What I call it, but I call it money appeal. You know, money appeal means something different to everybody. And this is similar to the uh, the video I did. I think it was earlier today or yesterday about consumerism or or, or consumers. You know, from the moment they're babies and little children, they want this, they want that. Everybody's a different type of consumer. So, but, but I call this money appeal, um, and this has been going on at least since we have, we've had TV. So I don't know when we've had TV from, I don't know, but it's gotta be at least the fifties. I'm sure the color TV, color TV started in the fifties, you know? So we've been watching TV for what, 70 years, right? Now, you know, since this, since this technology came in, we, we've had internet, we have social media, we have TV and everything. And um, money appeal has become a big thing. And, and, and this, is a, this is a really, really good topic. And it's a good general topic. Like, no, like, I'm sorry, there's no special money-making secrets in this video, but it's a, it, it's a bit of a special topic, and, I, and I'll explain why. Um, so I'll give you an example. So I, I remember that, you know, you could make an Instagram account, and um, you could follow whatever you wanted. And to be honest, I, I was very young when I started doing that. And I felt like there was some really cool stuff to follow. You know, it, 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 it was actually one of the accounts that kind of pushed me towards, I don't know if I already had the job at the Bay or I was getting the job, but it kind of pushed me towards it. There was a guy who had an account, nobody knew who he was, never showed his face, but he loved Polo Ralph Lauren. Everything he wore was Polo Ralph Lauren. Polo Ralph Lauren sweaters, Pants, every, everything was all, always, all his wear, all his clothing wear was Polo Ralph Lauren. He was a black guy, but you couldn't see his face, okay? And apparently he had a lot of money, nobody knew how. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing if he doesn't want to show his face, he may be making money illegally, possibly, or he just doesn't feel comfortable showing his face. But I was looking at that and I was looking at the Polo Ralph Lauren. Now where I worked in men's footwear, Polo Ralph Lauren was literally right across from me and I could see all their stuff all day long. Uh, it was about, it was about the following year that I, I had my full-time job and then I went to the Polo Ralph Lauren store and I started buying clothes from there. And then for the next, I'd say three to four years, I always shopped at Polo Ralph Lauren. Everything had to be Polo Ralph Lauren. The sweaters, the shirts, the pants, everything, the hoodies, everything had to be Polo Ralph Lauren. There was one thing I wanted to get Polo Ralph Lauren, but I couldn't. I was looking for a jacket like this. You know what I mean? This is the type of jacket I was looking for, and I go to the, and I can't find it at any Polo Ralph Lauren store. And this is a very good story. This is 2018, by the way. So what I do is I look up, um, I look up the website. They told me like you can order stuff from the Polo Ralph Lauren website. They said that we don't carry any of the stuff. If you want, order it online, but it's gonna come in from Buffalo or from New York or something, okay? So I said, okay. So, I, so I, I'm i looking and I finally find a jacket that looks like this. It, it didn't look the way I pictured it. I thought it would look way, it didn't look that good, but it was still nice, it was still nice. Now that jacket was going for about 13 to $1,400. Okay, now I'll tell you one thing. So when it comes to Polo Ralph Lauren, typically they don't have sales, all right? Um, if, if they have a product, if they have a, a, a piece of apparel that's good, they're never going to put it on sale and it's going to sell out. You know, the stuff that goes on sale is, is unfortunately stuff that wasn't all that appealing and, and nobody bought and nobody wanted it. So it went on sale. All their best stuff never goes on sale. Anyways, I call them up. Now I look at the, and, I, and I have a question for them. I'm like, okay, look, I, I like this jacket. It's $1,300, $1,400 and I read through it and I want to buy it. But here's the thing. Now I may be incorrect, but I see there's a there's two words here. It says faux fur, F A U X space F U R. Now I'm like I don't know much about French, and I may be correct, but as far as I know, in French, faux means false. 
They said, no, 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 it's genuine, it's genuine fur. I'm like, are you sure? Oh yeah, and the jacket inside's got goose down, goose feathers. I'm like, all right, let me call you back. You know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, man, $1,400 for fake goddamn fur? Am I, am I nuts or what? I'm gonna pay $1,400 for a Polo Ralph Lauren jacket that, that has fake fur on it? And until this day, until this day, I never bought a jacket that had fur on the hood. I had never had any jackets with fur on the hood. Fortunately, I'm in the mall and I start searching and I find, you know, one of the best brands. And then and I go in the shop and I find exactly what I'm looking for. I, I was looking for a green jacket just like this. And I walk in and there there is a green jacket. And I go and I pick my size. I pick the jacket. It took me like five minutes to decide. Because I walked in, I'm like, I need a green. And I look, I'm like, there's a green winter jacket with, with the hood. Right? I read through it. Everything's genuine, by the way. Brand power when it comes to jackets is, 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 is very nice, right? It's probably the best, to be honest, okay? Well, well, in Canada, in North America, it's probably the best. Now, I'm not, I, I've heard Russia and, 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 and Europe, uh, Sweden and all those countries, I heard they may have like crazy, you know, amazing whatever jackets or better quality. I don't know. But North America, this was the best. So I, got, I, I get it there five, ten minutes. I look through it and right away, it's an easy decision. Because this was the perfect color, the perfect style, easy decision, take it and leave. Yeah, you know I mean, now, um, so we, we got led. So I was led through this through an influencer. You know what I mean? There was an influencer that I watched on Instagram and I was signed up to him and I, and I saw, well, he was always in a luxury car and all that stuff, but I didn't care about his car and his house or whatever the hell he had. And I only used to look at his sweaters and pants and all that stuff. And I didn't, couldn't see his face, but I could see the clothing. And yeah, you know, later on in the winter, I had the, I, I had polar off Lauren toques. I had polar off Lauren sweaters, hoodies. Uh, I didn't get pants polar off Lauren because I found better quality pants, which were not even expensive. Um, the shoes, I had polar off Lauren shoes when I worked there. The shoes are typically cheap quality. I don't know. The, the shoes at Hudson Bay are, 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 are actually not part of the polar off Lauren store. I don't know where they come from. The shoes are very cheap quality. They look really nice. They'll break apart in three or four months. Okay, they'll start breaking apart very fast. But they're but they're they look very nice. And and I bought about four or five pairs of polar off orange shoes. Because I was working there, so I was able to get a discount and I employee discount and all that stuff. Which was one of the reasons that I got that job, so I could learn about men's fashion and learn how to dress nice and everything. Now, in, you know, Instagram is a big one. But but forget Instagram, all of social media. Okay, all of I, okay, so there are guys, I don't want to mention their channels, you know, but, 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 but there are, there's like at least 50 or 60 channels on YouTube. Um, and, and, and guys are always dressing in the new Gucci, Versace, Fochi, I don't know, whatever the hell this shit is called, okay? That's fine, right? But, you know, it's, it, you know, I, well, what was the word? Money appeal. Money appeal is different for everybody. There are people who love cheap deals. That's their money appeal. Dude, I got to get a deal on this. I have to get at least 25% off and it's got to be cheap and sturdy. And they love buying cheap stuff. Lots and lots of cheap, cheap stuff. They love cheap stuff. They can throw in the garbage when it breaks and buy new cheap stuff. Why have the same old bullshit in your house, furniture or, or, or your clothes when you can buy something so cheap and when it wears down, which it will, you'll just replace it with another cheap product. Okay, but but aside from that, everybody has. A, there's people who love Richard Meal watches. I don't. You know what I mean? I I don't understand the watch. I don't understand it. I think it looks cool. I might play a, a soccer with it on. I don't know. No, no, not my thing. I I I've never liked sport watches. Never liked sport watches. So uh, you know that's another thing. Now as of today, my taste has changed a lot. You know what I mean? And uh, the next time I actually go to buy apparel, it'll probably be something else. You know what I mean? But the thing is that I've been in here so long that when I do get out, I don't know who I'm going to be. I don't know who I'm going to be, who my social, well, I, I, don't know. I don't know who I'm going to be. I don't know what I'm going to be buying. I don't know what I'm going to be wearing. You know what I mean? I don't know any of that. So I'm going to have to figure that out as I go along. But the point is that money appeal is a real thing. If there's somebody you love, you know, and this, this is a big social media thing to social media influencers. Um, I'm trying to think about somebody. Well, 50 Cent was big. When he came out in 2001, in the early 2000s, in the club and all those hits, 
Um, that was big. 50 Cent was actually advertising iPod. Uh, iPod? No. iPad? The, 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 the one you listen to, the iPad Walkman? 50 Cent uh, uh, advertised that in the, in, the, in the song in the club, which was his biggest hit, his biggest commercial hit, uh, especially at the time. And when I was a kid, all the kids were listening to that, that song. Every kid loved that song. You know, to this day, I make a little, I have a little joke that I play with. I'm not going to say it on video. But the thing is that, you know, he actually put that iPod uh, Walkman uh, as an advertisement and everybody started buying it. And they didn't just put it on him. They put it on like these Korean superstars. They put it on our, some kind of rock star. They put it on everybody. And then everybody was buying iPod 